Hello everyone and welcome to GCP part 4 video on IntelliPart. Now before we discuss our today's agenda, do not forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon. So first we will discuss about cloud architecture exam guide. Moving ahead we will discuss about basic RFC 1918. Then we will learn about VPC and at the end we will discuss about basic host. So uh, this is your cloud architect stuff. So you see this exam guide and case studies. So if you come to the bottom, you see three case studies, Mount Craig's, Dress for Wind, Theramuts. So usual uh, way I do is like I go through these case studies uh, line by line and try to map what is your equivalent GCP products. So I'll try to create a a mind map so once you go to the exam you should be able to quickly map okay for this requirement this is what you need to do so you don't need to go through the case study every time so that's what is the one so this is three case studies this is something which is missing in the agenda the second stuff is the agenda primarily focuses on compute storage networking tools and all but it does not focus on this part big data stuffs I wanted to give you some basics wherever it is something very new content I guess there are some networking folks uh, and not everybody are networking folks usually in any batch I have seen uh, there are only a handful number of uh, networking guys so so to make things uh, common I try to share some basic stuffs or a refresher kind of a stuff so some basic stuff throughout our networking session we'll be focusing on something called as internal IP address so what it means is there's a standard called as RFC 1918 standard so what it means in simple terms you have uh, three classes class A class B class C so you would have read these things in your networking class in your engineering so class A is your 10 dot address space meaning First 8 bit is fixed by the network. The remaining 24 bits, you can use it for having the IP address. So you will have almost like 16 million IP address in class A. Similarly, in class B, it is 172 address space. So where the 12 bits are fixed, the remaining uh, 20 bits are available for your network. So 12 bits are fixed always starts with 172 and uh, ends with this IP address so here in class B you have around 1 million IP address which you can create similarly you would have seen this very standard if your laptop is there your local IP address would be usually 192 series so what what is this IP address range whenever the routers sees these IP address range or cider range they will not be routed to internet it is blocked so so advantage of using internal IP address is you will not have network egress cost so you don't need to have an external IP address everything if there's an option to use internal IP address itself to communicate this would be very secure because you are not exposing any IP address so the moment you expose an external IP address your machine would be susceptible to vulnerability so avoid using external IP address wherever possible if you don't have any other option the only way to communicate is by exposing the machine then you don't have any option do it but Google has a different approach when it comes to networking when it comes to networking so that's what we'll see throughout our networking session uh, so throughout our networking session we'll try to emphasize on this request for comments RFC 1918 standard. We'll see this throughout a thing. Uh, in very simple terms, if you are not from networking background, what we will emphasize is wherever possible, we'll try to emphasize on internal IP address. That's what we'll try to focus. So, before we get into the deeper stuffs of uh, what is networking, what the various concepts of networking, let's understand what is how the networking looks when it comes to cloud so it is called as virtual private cloud so usually the traditional vpc if you have worked on aws it would be something like this where let me get my highlighter so 
if you have two regions so if you have two regions one is us central another one is singapore both are using a specific cloud let's say aws or azure whatever it is and if you want to communicate between vms in two different region the usual procedure is you need to set up a vpn gateway both the sides and create a tunnel and they will communicate over public internet so that's how they will do that is a standard procedure and if you have a want to communicate with an on premise again definitely you need to go via a vpn this is a standard procedure and just for your information even aws and azure does the same way let me show you that real quick so i have a document which is on aws let's see that this is aws official website so if you scroll down two regions one in region a one in region b if they want to communicate simple vms if they want to communicate each other you need to set up a gateway and vpn this is a huge task similarly if i go to azure website again it's not quoting from some other thing it's their official website where if you have a vm in us east another vm in us west if they want to communicate both are using the same azure account if you a subscription if you want to communicate between each other you need to have a tunnel setup and a, a gateway setup so that is a huge task but if you come back to google google is very very unique you don't need to have anything i'll show you the demo in a minute the demo takes only two minutes or less than a minute you just create a vm in your central you create a vm in singapore start communicating it will work without doing anything that's how easy it is the reason is virtual private cloud is global in gcp whereas in aws azure or any traditional one it is a regional so it's only pertaining to that region why it is global here is because of its network optic fiber network which i mentioned it's global so whenever there's a region getting created in gcp it always starts with whenever gcp creates a new region they first lay the network first only then they create virtual machines or data center so that's their base so if you look at this if you see the network it connects almost every parts except russia and china you may see the network tries to connect almost every parts of the the world so that's the beauty so it's global only because of this your vms gets created faster uh, you can use global vpc concepts two vms communicating each, between each other without you doing setting up a vpn tunnel all the stuff so that's what that's the beauty of gcp and this is a very unique feature not available with any other cloud that this is an open challenge i can say no other cloud vendor provides you this kind of capability aws and azure they are trying to come up with it but they are still not there let's see that in action so simple way is what i'll do is i'll try to do the same concept go to compute engine i'm going to create two vms one in us central one in singapore and i'll show you how they can ping each other so server hyphen us make it in us central micro to have just to avoid the this thing and click create and if you are an aws guy you can try to do this you, you will not be able to do it the demo which i'm trying to do on gcp if you try to do it on aws it will not work for it to work you need to set up your vpn gateway and tunnel so sg for singapore all good make it micro click create i have not done anything but just created two vms in two different regions that's it let's ssh into the us machine and to singapore machine and i like to show you the screen in this fashion back to back so that you can see the stuffs live 
so there's no uh, magic or anything this is the basic stuff and this is a capability unique capability of gcp so i just want to show you live so let me clear the screen get the ip address of the us server similarly i'll clear the screen in singapore screen uh, the vm get the ip address so what i'm going to do is i'm going to ping the singapore machine this is the ip address of the singapore machine from us very basic demo if you try to do the same thing in azure or aws even this will not work let me hit enter and you should see the action the magic in action without me doing anything things are working and i can go one step ahead i can instead of ping i can do an ssh let me clear the screen i'm currently in us server what i'm going to do is i'm going to ssh from us have ssh into singapore machine easily that's it i'm able to do that without me doing anything this option is possible only because google's vpc is global in nature similarly what i would like share is another concept what i'm going to do is this is something typical which you see usually all those clients would be in us you will be working in uh, offshore like india or in singapore any zones and what they do is they expect they what they do is they don't want to you to access the us server directly so what they do is they will try to remove the external ip address what i'll do is purposely the us server i will remove the external ip address reason is nobody should log into this machine directly that is my intent as a user or as a customer so so this would be your typical uh, stuff uh, where you see your main server your work project it is in us but you cannot ssh whatever you do you cannot do ssh the only option is you ssh into your singapore machine and then from there you ssh so this concept is called as bastion host let me show you that in action the same stuff which i showed you ssh but here you don't have the provision to ssh to your us server itself i have blocked it so clear the screen ssh copy the ip address of your us machine paste it i have done it i am able to log in from singapore to us in a secure way so what is this concept this concept is called as bastion host so you can have only one machine which has an external ip address all all the internal other machines you have only internal ip address so whatever you do you go via this host this is called as bastion host just a quick info guys if you want to make a career in cloud computing then intellipad provides an advanced certification on cloud and devops by iit madras this course is taught by industry experts and iit madras faculty this course is designed to upskill and land your dream job now let's continue with the session